You start with butter. Okay. And we're gonna get that butter a little brown in there, and we have a hot pan. Am I using it all? Put it all, baby, put it all. And we have a hot pan. It's hot, okay. and if it browns, it's good. Okay. Brown. Brown, not burnt. There you go. Okay. There we go. And I love the smell of uh, browned butter. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Oh yeah, absolutely. How's so that? as that gets going, yep. we're gonna take our sage. Okay. We're gonna toss our sage in there, and I add the sage in the beginning. Because, because you want to kind of toast the sage a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Kind of release the flavors and let them infuse inside the butter as well. Okay. Um, so once that sage gets going on in there, we can add our butternut squash. Okay. You can add it all. Ah, awesome. Look at how beautiful that is. And we have that nice, beautiful little fine dice on that butternut squash. I was just going to say, uh, this is like Lincoln Logs. They're perfect. <laughs> I mean, they are perfect. You did a great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what you get for 10 years in the kitchen, I oh guess. Oh, my goodness. A nice cut of squash. Let's, uh, let's add the flour to it. Okay. So what you're basically making here is you're making uh, a bechamel sauce. Uh, or the French would say bechamel sauce. Okay, bechamel. Right? Yes. And so as you stir in that flour, it's going to start to thicken. Like a roux I spilt. Like, like a, a roux. roux. Kind of like a roux. Exactly. Okay. So now that we got that uh, flour going in yes, there. Yes, yes. We should add our milk. Okay. And this is milk, not cream, or could we use This is just good old milk. Because oh, good. you know what? This dish is going to be so rich from the squash, the butter, right. the sage. You've got flour in there. Sure. Um, you don't really need to use cream in this dish. Okay, good. Milk works just fine. So what you're going to do now is you're going to bring this up and you're going to let it cook for about two to three minutes and thicken. Okay. We're going to add Parmesan cheese. Okay. Pecorino cheese. Okay. You're going to add... What's this? Nutmeg. Ah! But we just grated it like maybe one minute ago. Salt is at the end. Okay. Egg yolks. Ah, oh, yes. Egg yolks. Do you want me to put that in? It has to boil a little more. Um, we can add all this stuff right now if you grab that whisk. Okay. Just want to give it a quick whisk here. So once it thickens, you just want to remove it from the heat. Now I turn the heat off on it, so it's fine. Okay. Add the cheese. Okay. All of it. All right. It's the holidays. It's okay. Don't yes. worry about yes. it. Yes. Then you want to add those egg yolks. Okay. Go ahead and add them all right in right now. A little I mean, nutmeg? A little bit of nutmeg. Okay. All of it? Freshly grated. Go ahead and add all of it. Why not? The nutmeg gives a really great flavor with the butternut squash. Good. It's really good. It's so at really this good. point, what we want to do is we want to take it, and we want to put it in buttered ramekins. Okay. What you want to do then is you want to put it into a dish, a baking vessel of okay. some sort, and you want to bake it in a water bath. All right. What we would call in the kitchen a bain-marie, which okay. is basically a pan right. outside of your pan with a little bit of water yeah. in it. So this sits in a pan that's a little deeper, and you add water to about where? About halfway up. Right there. Okay. Yeah, a third of the way halfway up. It keeps the bottom from burning. Keeps the bottom from burning. Awesome. That's all we need to know. Perfect. 325 degrees. Okay. For about 25 minutes. Should we should we hold suspense or should we show them what it looks like? We should show them. Nice golden brown crust on top of that budino. That is perfect. Right? This budino is great by itself. Right? Oh, nice to the, know. The budino is great by itself with the little drizzle of aged balsamic vinegar. Let's and look we'll, at this quail. So the quail, Laura. Yeah. I've just very simply yeah. marinated with a little bit of fresh thyme. Okay. Sea salt and extra virgin olive oil. That's it. Voila. Bastanza. Huh? Goes it. Goes. That's it. Capiche. <laughs> goes in the oven. Put it in the oven. Turn the broiler on, and cook it for uh, five to 10 minutes. You all know, right. a yeah. medium cooked quail is okay. That's all you want. So what I'm actually gonna do here, Laura, this is risky. I'm watching you. This is risky, is I'm and actually it's warm going too, to huh? take our budino out, right? Okay, risky, but very good. Look at you go. A little hot. You did it Not burn? No burns, okay, good. Um, so this is why they call it sformatino, misshapen. Cause you see when it comes out, it looks a little, looks a little sformatino, yeah. huh? Yeah. Those old Jello commercials. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then that we're gonna great. take our quail. Okay. Right. Can I use your knife? Absolutely. Be uh, careful, okay. they're sharp. Don't do this at home with your knives, but you know. But use it. And on we're gonna top. just plate the quail right on top of the budino like that, and we're gonna finish it. Yes, yes, yes. With the ultimate. With the little drizzle of saba. 